try to repair this fabric of America. Woven into the fabric of America. Or the fabric of America. How do we know what the fabric of America even looks like? Before Facebook started collecting all of our data and selling it, the US took attendance of everyone in the country using this little thing called census. census. The census is a head count of every single person living in the United States every 10 years. Like how do we even know that there are 400,000 Asian Americans in Georgia? Census. And how did all 300 bubble tea shops decide to be on Buford Highway? Census. And why does this matter to you? Money. That headcount is how the government and businesses decide where to spend their money. Funding things like schools, hospitals, roads, public housing, scholarships, and social programs for the next 10 years. Let's look at it IRL. Most of us know that Gwinnett County is diverse by the amount of Korean barbecues per square mile. But how did Gwinnett prove to Fortune 500 companies like FedEx, AMD, and SunTrust that it truly deserves that international money? Census, baby. In 2010, Georgia gained a seat in Congress thanks to census numbers, because our population grew, we earned more representation in D.C. And in 2017, Gwinnett County offered ballots in Spanish for the first time. But why? It wasn't out of the kindness of their hearts. Census data proved that there are enough Spanish speakers to require Spanish ballots. Take note, my Korean chingus, y'all could be next. The government is basically saying, yo, we're ordering pizza, how big is your party? And if we don't answer, we may only get 50 pizzas when we actually need 5,000. Simply put, if you want better roads, schools, and hospitals near you, fill out the freaking census. And if you've never filled out the census before, don't worry. Like modern day dating, it can all be done online. It's just eight questions, and to be clear, none of them are about your citizenship status. But they do want your digits. Damn! Uncle Sam trying to holla? I guess there's no such thing as free pizza. But don't worry, it's all very safe. U.S. Census workers are sworn to secrecy for life, and it's a felony if they release any of your information. Everyone will receive a letter in the mail with a unique code for their home, and you'll follow a link to fill it out online. Or if the internet is difficult for you, you can also respond by phone or by paper form. The Census Bureau will start mailing postcards and reminders from March until the end of April. There is no hard deadline, but if you haven't filled out the form by May, census workers will literally come to your door. Which means you'll have to pause Queer Eye and talk to a stranger, and nobody wants that. The last thing we want is for our population to feel like a Facebook event. You don't know if 10 or 100 people are gonna show up. So what can you do today? Share this video so that none of your friends and family leave the pizza party hungry. Take the pledge with us today. Comment on this video with hashtag count me in and we'll send you a digital postcard reminder. And we have this video translated into 15 other languages so you can send it to your auntie too. And how did we decide which 15 languages to translate to? Census. Turn my back on the things I knew. It's a party. How many pizzas? <laughs> Every bubble tea shop beside Buford Highway decide to be on. Comment on this video with count tap the uh, count. Hell tell. Pledge with us today. Hashtag oops. <laughs> <laughs>